this uh, tutorial going to be about how to create a smooth follow focus transition in Blender mixing geometry nodes, a little bit of scripting and uh, the scene you see here is from Simon Thoms which has uh, a relation to this tutorial because uh, he has been playing with geometry nodes in order to create some simulation for terrains on the current project they are working on, which is the Haste project. And another guy, known as Gnumbi, has took his code and made some adaptations to work more fluidly inside Blender. So you can uh, orbit the 3D view and the, the code runs in the background and the simulation can happen as you interact with the 3D view. And, and this tutorial, by the way, was inspired by the latest uh, tutorial from Zach from CG Boost, which has approached the same uh, subject, which is autofocus. So let's see how I have combined all these pieces in order to create this one. Let's go. Okay, so let's uh, recreate this system from scratch. I will start in a adding a plane that we are going to use its normal to tell geometry nodes which is the direction we are going to cast from. So in this case we are going to use the perpendicular direction of this plane. Uh, which we are going to posi position uh, on the same location and rotation as the camera and make sure it is facing the same orientation as the camera. Okay, and let's uh, parent this to the camera. So when the camera moves, the plane moves and rotates accordingly. Um, Let's name this um, ray direction. Direction. Let's add another object. It can be a plane, which will merge all the vertices to the center. And this is going to be called base. And another one we can duplicate and call simulation, which are going to be used uh, to uh, evaluate the geometry nodes um, system each time my my frame changes it will uh, move the position of the simulation object towards the focus point that we are going to add right now an empty and call this guy focus point focus point and we will pass this to the camera as a depth of field focus on object. We are going to use that empty. And we are going to make sure that when my simulated point moves, the empty going, going to move uh, along. So I will position my empty on the same position as my simulated object and I will enter in edit mode, select the vertex, vertex and make a vertex parent. So now I am sure that when the simulated object moves, the parent, the, the child, which is in this case the, the focus point, will move together. So it's going to represent the, the focus position of the camera. And at this point we have the objects we are going to use in the system. So we are good to go to geometry nodes, um, view, and, and just for the sake of demonstration I want to add another object here because we want to make sure that this system works not only in one object at a time, but it can work in multiple objects. So let's create a, a hat here for, for Suzanne and add, add them to a collection, which we're going to call model. We are going to cast 
our rays onto this collection. Okay. Now select the simulation object. We are going to, we are going to create a geometry nodes to this guy. And also let's load our our script and make sure that a simulation and base have the same name of our points we have created earlier so I will make base lowercase and simulation seems to be correctly spelled that's good and now let's go ahead and create the geometry nodes on the simulated object simulation object we are going to use uh, our model a collection model which we will have to realize this instance because if we don't realize we don't have access to its faces uh, vertex we we must realize in order to access its attributes and play with them and we are going to use the camera of course and um, the core part of this system is the raycast so let's bring the raycast node and let's try start connecting it so we are going to to cast on the the model so on the model collection we are going to cast from the location of the camera and the ray direction we are going to bring our plane here which is ray direction name I will pin my geometry nodes 3 here so I can bring now my ray direction and uh, we want to access the the face the normal of this face right the same one as we can see here it's too small we want to access this data and pass to this point here so let's uh, transfer attribute we're gonna transfer the normal from this plane so i will bring index and let's uh, we are interested in the in a, a vector vector data what kind of vector uh, we want the normal of this face as this uh, object has only one face it already is is uh, giving us the correct uh, output here but just for the sake of uh, clarity we can tell that we are interested in the in a specific face so in this case is the face uh, with the index zero we don't need that because we have only one face here but anyway just for clarity we are extracting the direction of this face specifically so and of course we want the relative position because this face is not positioned at the origin is in relation to the origin so and uh, our camera we want as an instance and as well as a relative instance position and now we can we can tell geometry nodes that from the point it was hit we are going to subtract the current position subtract the current position of the simulated vertex so let's do the subtraction so this gives us the direction it should move and now we can scale this vector a bit which represents the 
how much we want to move in that direction. So, so we want to move a hundred percent, or we want to move a little bit, like ten percent, each time this code runs, which runs every time my frame changes. So I will move 10% every time my frame changes, it will move this 10% in the direction it was hit. So let's set the position now. Set the position. And apply as an offset. And probably that's pretty much it. I just have to connect the simulated object here. That should be it. Let's bring another 3D view. Let's look through the camera. And uh, let's lock the camera to this view. So when I move my camera here, my camera there also moves along that's good i will save this file and um, i think we can hit play on this uh, script and see what happens i hit play and let's uh, make sure we uh, we have the depth of field very small so i can see But for some reason, still not working as expected. Let's see what's happening here. Ah, okay. I forgot to click on a relative. Everything should be relative. So now, as you can see, when I move my camera the focus will change the position to the point it was hit and it works for multiple objects and we have this very nice effect that if we use along with another solutions like a virtual camera for example which is a app for iPhone and probably Android as well we can use our mobile and uh, move through the space and um, it will and the camera the virtual camera will replicate the movement we do in real life inside Blender so which is pretty cool it can work in conjunction it can work in conjunction with this method so yeah, that's that's how I have approached that. And if you want to change the speed, it it moves. Of course, you can expose this to the geometry nodes modifier, and you can call it speed, whatever. And let's say if you want to move quicker. Now this is moving uh, much quicker, right? If you want to move slower, you can say 5%. And it will move much slower. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something. That was an interesting challenge. Bye-bye.